Introduction for the Super Wiper Desktop NVMe SATA SAS Mix Port Erase Unit. This unit is built with four NVMe U2 ports. and supplied with four U2 extension cables and with four U2 M2 U2 to M2 NVMe adapters. Also it built with four SAS SATA ports, many USB 3.0, 3.1, some in the front, some in the back, uh, one eSATA port in the front, one USB 2.0 in the front for those people who want to use keyboard and mouse instead of using the touchscreen and 10 inch touchscreen display. The unit capability is to erase four M2 NVMe SSDs and four SATA and SAS at the same time. The U2 NVMe ports can be used to erase M2 NVMe like what will be plugged here those are M2, they look slim, 80 millimeter um, long, but this adapter can support also short one. So I just have to move the screw. Uh, but also it's supporting uh, U2 NVMe SSD drives. Those are expensive SSDs and they look like two and a half inch. And they have 68 pins. To connect those drives, the user will need to remove the M2 adapters from the end of the extension cable and plug the U2 SSD directly to the extension cable. So remove that one and plug, remove that one and plug here the uh, SSD directly to the cable. Also, the U2 NVMe ports can be used to erase NVMe PCIe memory cards, uh, with the, but those are with the use of special adapters. Those adapters are not supplied with this unit. The special thing about NVMe port is that in order for the BIOS to recognize the NVMe ports, the unit needs to be powered up with four NVMe SSDs already plugged in. This step is just needed to be done once at boot time. After that, the four NVMe ports become hot swappable. We already plugged four 500 gigabyte NVMe SSDs, M2 NVMe SSDs, and we already boot the unit. Uh, but uh, that's, that's exactly what needs to be done in the beginning when we boot the unit. Let's go to the erase menu. And to the erase protocol. So there's a few ways that the user can erase NVMe SSDs. DoD, DoD Lite, user uh, mode does the erase by rewriting the media with zero, but they're not really taking advantage of the drive being logical. So you can use DoD, DoD Lite, user, those are, are pretty much the processes rewriting the media. For better, faster, logical erase, similar to secure erase for SATA SSDs and sanitize for SAS SSDs, the user can select to erase NVMe SSDs from three special protocols. This is the sub-menu of the NVMe. You can see NVMe format, security erase, and security crypto erase. The first is NVMe erase, the first is NVMe erase menu. NVMe format, which does reformat the SSDs at low level. The second is the crypto erase. That only if the drive is supported by this mode, meaning that the drive is self-encrypted, and the erase be done by throwing away the encryption key. And then the data become not usable. The last one is secure erase, where the firmware of the SSDs does the erase internally. So... Uh, Probably didn't put it in the right order, but format, security arrays, and crypto arrays. We'll leave it right now with 
security, NVMe format and full verification and go to the select drive screen. Usually after ta tapping on the scan drive icon, uh, the, the, the application will detect any storage attached to this unit, any hard drive, NVMe, SATA, USB, any, anything, and it will display it on the screen. But for NVMe, because in the beginning we had to boot the unit with NVMe already there, we already, the, the application already detected, so we have to skip that step. But if we change after that for another four NVMe's, we'll have to press on the scan drives. Let's tap on the drive model, one of them. And what we can see here um, is, it can tell us which protocols is this um, drive is supporting. Um, what I see here, NVMe format is supported. Uh, sanitized crypto is not supported. Uh, so we'll select NVMe format for this reason. Uh, so let's go back. We already select that one. Now let's select each one to run in a separate session. Uh, warning that you're erasing the drive. Here is one session started. Let's go back, select the second one. Warning. Second session started. Go back, select the third one. Third one, session starting. Go back, select the last one. And here's another session start. So let's have a look at the Let's have a look at this screen. We select verification because it's really not necessarily needed to one secure erase because the drive firmware of the drive does all the uh, erase and verification, but I we recommended it because as an extra step of as, like, uh, you know, over precaution to include verification pass. Uh, if we're looking at this screen, we see that the load is show 1 TB, the drive are 500 gigabyte, but because we are going two passes over the drive, one time to erase, one time to verify, the application have to read twi twice the data, and that's why the load show 1 TB. Uh, the speed right now is the instant speed, it's running extremely fast speed. Progress is showing the progress of the, of, uh, the erase and verification. Um, act active is active, and error is going to be flagged with colors as soon as the session will be completed. Uh, green will be, the error will come green when it passes yellow where there is a, some warning to the user and you should look into the log and read it will be failed. So if we go, we can go in the middle of the session and see how's the progress of the session. Right now it's say, oh, target one has successfully completed security arrays. Now he's doing the verification. Okay, so that's uh, how the session look like. Um, So the light of the green, red, and, and orange, the user should be should wait for those lights to come out. For some slow USB drive and SSDs, the erase process can reach 100%, uh, but it takes a few minutes to the error flag to come up. That's because it takes long time to the drive to flash the data and complete the session. So user, the user should have a little bit patient and wait until the green or red or yellow uh, um, flag will come. A few points, NVMe SSD perform at extremely high speed, so make sure that all the cables adapter are connected very well and secured with supplied brackets. Also use fan to blow air on the SSDs, they are become very hot and will reduce their performances. We do have one fan solution that you can purchase, 
separately. Another thing is if the user would like to exit the Super Wiper application, make sure that all the NVMe SSDs, SSDs are powered off before. You can manually, manually power them off using the power drive icon from the drive screen. So you can go to drive screen and drive power control and you can click here to power them off but right now they are in the middle of the run we don't want to do that let's go back to the sessions and wait for the completion of the session which will be the completion of our short video clip now we have around another 19 seconds So most of those sessions will complete at a speed of around 220 gigabyte a minute. Uh, for, for 500 gig with verification, it took us like around four, four to five minutes. So I can abort a session. And it will flag as red. Just that you see the colors. So the first one came with zero error, with no errors in green. And let's have a look how long it took him to do that. It average speed was 206 gigabytes a minute. It took him four minutes and 51 seconds. This is the name of the log file that he was generated. All the rest are almost done. Almost done. Perfect. Now you can also look at session history. And you can also erase those sessions from the screen. Clean up sessions. And that's so easy, this application to use. Turn off the unit.